Hello, this is Abby with Cookies and Crochet, and today I wanted to talk about the all-in-one loom. Um, it is um, a knitting loom um, that I purchased from Hershner's online, hershner's.com, and it is this lovely little thing right here. Um, it is adjustable, so you can make lots of different things. Um, you can do... Um, Scarves, socks, hats, afghan shawls, and more. That's what it says on the box right there. Um, it comes with a fully instruction manual, and it does have some patterns um, to make certain things in the pamphlet itself. But I did purchase an extra book um, on the website, um, Loom Knitting with all-in-one loom and it has several different patterns so I purchased that separately I think it was an extra twenty dollars or something like that but anyway um so I have been trying to learn how to use this and that's what I wanted to talk about today and I do have some footage that I have taken um, of me using it so I wanted to share about that right now I have on the loom a hat um, that I have I cast on and I have been knitting and purling I learned how to purl actually last night and I learned the knit stitch first on there but the pattern I'm doing is um, this hat and there's also a scarf um, but anyway that's what I decided because it is at the beginner level <laughs> so I wanted to start off extremely easy um, so you start by casting on on the first peg you have to count out how many pegs you'll need um, for the particular project and for this hat I needed 84 you just adjust these little sliders I think they're called sliders um, up and down um, to adjust for the size you need I cast on and I've done as you can see if we look very close I don't know how many rows I've done or rounds. Maybe five rounds, maybe. Um, and this is the yarn I'm using. I'm just practicing with this. Um, some new yarn that I had bought I wanted to try out. So that's what I'm doing. Um, and I have watched some videos on YouTube. Um, Good Knit Kisses um, with Kristen. Um, she does all kinds of looms. She does the afghan loom. Um, she does the all-in-one loom. Um, she does round looms. Uh, I mean, she just has videos and tutorials on almost every loom imaginable. I've been watching some of hers, and then also I found one last night, um, which I can't remember the name of right now, but it, I will put it in the link or description box down below. I watched her last night, and I learned how to purl. So anyway, um, so we'll see how this looks. I'm, I'm, I really like it. It's a little slow at first because I'm still trying to get the hang of it, but I really do like it. Um, and it's, like I said, it's fully adjustable. You take these bolts out, move these sliders up and down, um, depending on how many, um, how many pegs you need for your project. This is the little hook. And if you can see these um, grooves in the pegs, that helps you slide your hook in there and pull out easily. Um, so that is very nifty. Also, I wanted to share on the back of this book, these are all the things you can make on the loom. You can also do socks, which is another reason I bought this. I thought maybe um, I could try making socks on this loom. Um, maybe it might be a little bit easier than um, since I'm just starting out with all this. <laughs> so we'll see how it goes. Um, and I will definitely share once I get this done or once it has a little bit more on it. Like I said, it's kind of slow going, but um, <clears throat> once you get the hang of it, I, I really I really like it. It's, it's, it's relaxing and I would like to um, get my girls in on this too, maybe get a child loom. Um, or you know a kid's loom um, that they can practice on 
So anyway, all right, well, I'm going to share some footage of me uh, using this. And um, like I said, I'll put the descriptions or the descriptions. <laughs> I will put the links to the tutorials that I have used online on YouTube down in the description box so you can use those or check them out if you want if you're looking to learn how to do this so okay thank you